guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm answering all of your questions. All right, if you're new here, I'm Claire, but you're probably not new here if you clicked on this video, um, because if you're interested in hearing the answers to questions about me, it would be kind of weird if you didn't already know me. So I went ahead and asked you guys here on YouTube, if you had any questions for me, ask anything that you want to and I will answer it. Now that post is still up, so if any of your questions came in after the filming of this, um, I'm sorry, I'll try to answer them when I do comments or um, we can definitely have another one of these and you can try again then or whatever. If, if this goes well, then, then maybe we'll do it again. I don't know. All right, question number one. Do you like scary or horror movies? Or what is your favorite kind of movie? So I used to be like a horror fan, but after I had kids, I find that I'm very sensitive to horror in general. Um, I let my husband do like one or two in the month of October and he gets to pick them, but that's basically the only time of year. I'm not a horror girl. And my favorite genre of movie, I love, love, love a movie musical, but it has to be done right. I did not like La La Land. I do like Oklahoma so like you know I there are modern ones I like but it's the old school musicals for me for the most part all right next question where did you grow up and what was it like in your childhood so I grew up in Lansing Michigan it's the capital city it's right in the center so if you're from Michigan you point out where you live on the hand map right in the middle right in the center it's a perfect location you're never more than like an hour away from a lake which is ideal um, and I still live here uh, we have Michigan State University next door, which provides lots of great entertainment. I really like the size of city it is here. I would probably not leave, I don't think. As for my childhood, it was quite nice. I don't have a lot of huge complaints. I think everybody has a little baggage from their childhood, but nothing too serious. My parents have been married just shy of 40 years. So um, I've had like, you know, some good examples of like long lasting love and I I did a lot of creative kind of stuff as a kid, like drama camp and art camp and that kind of thing. I was definitely more on that side of things rather than, you know, any type of math and science. I was definitely always creative. And my mom saw that early on and got me really involved in all things creative because I'm a lot like her. She's also very creative. So um, that's kind of, you know, in a nutshell. I can't really go into my entire childhood here, but... It was good. Next question, this kind of ties in. If you had to move anywhere, where would it be and why? It would be Berlin, Germany. And there was a time in my life where I did almost move there. Um, but then, you know, life happened. I met my husband and it just never happened. Um, and we're going there soon, actually in March. And it'll be his first time there, but I've been there lots and lots of times. It's like my ancestral homeland and I have lots of friends there and my home away from home. and. One day, maybe we'll move there, I don't know. Um, we've always kind of bounced back and forth that when the kids are grown and with my husband's you know, engineering job, he could really go a lot of different places that maybe we'll look into moving you know, on that side of the pond one day, I don't know, but I would be open to it you know, in the future. Do you have any tips or tricks on budgeting? I have a video on how I, well, how I used to kind of budget. It's a really old video, but it still rings true if you're having a hard time um, organizing and allocating your money. I will leave a link to that video down below. How many siblings do you have? I have one sister. She is three and a half years older than me. It's just the two of us and I'm the youngest child. All right, next question. Are y'all planning to have any more children? No, we aren't. Gianni has gotten the old snip snip. So if we do have another baby, it will be a shock to everyone. What do you want for Christmas? Oh, I have such a hard time. Actually, my husband's grandmother just asked me this too and I'm just like, I'm terrible, terrible at wanting or finding things for myself or even giving people ideas of what I want. It's really rough. I'm like, I don't know, a gift card to Aldi? Like who asks for that for Christmas? I don't know. It's a problem. I, I'm still thinking about it. I've, Next question, do you ever do date night with Gianni? We don't have like a real regular date night. Um, we really don't go out that much and because of you know everything that's been happening in the last year and a half, um, we have not been dining in anywhere. So like a couple weeks ago, the boys went to a sleepover at their cousin's house for his birthday. We treated that like a date night. I decided date night is more like a mindset. So like 
we get excited over a new show coming out. I'll make something special. And when the kids go to bed, we really try to use that time to be together. I don't do any cleaning in the evenings, hardly ever. Um, when my husband gets home, that's when all that stuff ends and we try to spend time together. So I don't think we do a real structured date night, but we do try really hard to like make time for one another. All right, next question, do you still work at the dog groomers? Well, I think I'll probably be a dog groomer for the rest of my life. I don't think I'll ever really give it up all the way. Um, I left my job grooming last November, um, and I've been grooming a few dogs on the side, just, you know, to a little bit of side hustle going on. Um, and I have been doing substitute grooming for my old salon. Um, so anytime a girl would call in sick or go on vacation, I would pop in and do their dogs. But now that the kids are in school and things have kind of settled down a little bit, um, I'm thinking of going back one day a week um, because I have the time now to do the channel and the kids and the work. So I think I'm gonna think I'm gonna go back for you know one day a week probably. What was your best subject in school and what are your kids? For me, English and history definitely. I probably could do okay in any subject if I tried. However, I hate trying hard to do things I'm really not interested in. With the kids, I definitely see a strong preference for math in both of them, especially my oldest, um, but it's a little early. We'll see, we'll see where it goes. Did you hear about the possible toy shortage for Christmas? I did, but I feel like the more we talk about it, the more everyone's gonna rush out and try to buy everything. And I'm not really worried about it. We are not like heavy on the toys around here, especially at Christmas. One year we went real crazy and the kids were very overwhelmed and it was like not that enjoyable almost because they didn't know like what to play with or what to focus on. They were like overstimulated. So now we focus on one sort of bigger gift and some accessories to go with it than each kid gets something to read, something to wear, something, you know, a small special something, a few things to open, a good stocking of goodies. And we find that to be plenty. This year, actually, we are going to be getting them a membership. The whole family is gonna get a membership to our local planetarium at the university. And um, I think we're gonna center things around that. So maybe like a space toy, a space themed hoodie, you know, stuff to go around the theme. I'm not really worried about getting like the hottest toy of 2021 because we don't really mess around with that anyway. When do you start shopping for the holidays? All year long. Anytime I see something on clearance I think the boys will like, I buy it and I throw it in the, the Christmas bin that I keep in my closet and then when Christmas rolls around, I already have a head start. Have you picked a Halloween costume yet? Are you going trick or treating? We're not going trick or treating. Last year we had a party here for our little bubble with my um, sister's children and her family and it was so much fun. The kids are all really little. Fox is the oldest in the whole family when it comes to the kids. So they're really young. They have one-year-old cousins and um, it just was a lot better to keep it in the house and we had a great time. So we're gonna do that again this year. Um, and our family are going as Pokemon. I'm gonna be a Pokemon trainer, so is my husband. Fox is gonna be Pikachu and Desmond is going to be Mimikyu. I love this one. Are you happy with how your channel is growing? I'm ecstatic. I never thought that it would amount to anything. And growth, I know, is measured differently for different people. Personally, I feel I've grown incredibly for having a channel that is more authentic, I would say, than some of the ones that grow really fast, you know. Sometimes you might think, and this isn't for all channels, obviously, but some of the really big channels, they might seem like really real, but there's like a manager, there's lighting, there's professional editing going on. And of course, if you have all that, it's a lot easier to grow really fast. And I've turned down some really big opportunities for this channel in order to maintain the integrity and the authenticity. So I am beyond thrilled that at this point, over 8,000 people want to be friends with me. That's how I feel about it. Y'all just want to be friends with me because I do feel like we kind of know each other, you know, like we're friends here. All right, next question. Do you go garage sailing to auctions or estate sales? Okay, I do enjoy all of those things. I would prefer estate sales out of everything because especially if like a company is doing it, it's like, you know, it's almost like going to a thrift store, but it's like in a home. There's a cash register, there's set prices. I like the structure. An auction, I've never actually been to an auction, but I would go. Garage sales, it depends. I have to have someone with me because I feel really awkward alone looking through someone's things as they're watching me. I know it's ridiculous, but if my mom is with me, totally, garage sale all day. 
but I would never stop by myself at a garage sale and look through someone's things. It just makes me feel really awkward. I gotta have someone with me. Have you ever done the Highway 12 sale through Michigan? No, I haven't, but I want to really bad. If you don't know what it is, Google it, it's cool. What is your favorite thing to cook? Um, probably bread. I don't do it super often. Well, I do do like regular breads, you know, fairly often, but a really good like sourdough loaf, like nothing will make you feel better about yourself than when you have successfully created like a sourdough starter and grown it and then made like a perfect crusty sourdough loaf. It's like weeks in the making and when you have perfected that, ooh, there's no better feeling in the whole world. Okay, I like this. You seem really comfortable in the kitchen. Did someone teach you to cook or were you self-taught? So, a little bit of both. My parents never had me like in the kitchen showing me how to do things. However, both of my parents like to cook and both of my parents like lots of different flavors and different recipes. There's a few go-tos, but my parents are the kind that like are always trying new stuff. They love like food from all over the world. They love all different types of flavors. So I, my approach to food when I got older was just like, just try anything. And I think having a really open mind like that helps you learn really fast because I'm just Googling cool recipes and trying them out. And after, you know, a while you get kind of good at certain things and certain techniques and my parents never like pushed like learning how it was more just like have fun with it and that was sort of the attitude you know that I have too and I think that's really great and I hope my kids feel that way too what's your favorite holiday mmm it's a battle between Halloween and Christmas because they have the best decorations and you know that's what I'm here for what is your favorite thing you've ever thrifted oh my gosh oh um... My favorite thing I've ever thrifted, I don't know if I've ever even really talked about this, but probably uh, the rocking chair I got for my nursery. I wanted a nice solid rocking chair. I didn't want a glider. I wanted like a solid wood rocking chair and you know, to get a really nice one. They're really expensive and I just could not believe that I found one at the thrift store that was just beautiful and it was like $20 and my dad sanded it all down and refinished it for me as a gift for my nursery when Fox was born and yeah, I feel sentimental about that one. That's not one I think I'll ever like get rid of. And plus, since it's not a glider, I can use it in the house again without it being like a nursery item. This question is amazing. Do you do anything for your mental health? You always seem so positive and happy. How do you upkeep that mentality? Therapy, self-care, antidepressants, vitamins? Well, I will say, first of all, that's very sweet. I think I naturally am a happy and positive person. I think everybody sort of has like a baseline of like general happiness and I feel like mine is pretty high. Like I'm just born this way. Um, it doesn't mean I don't have total garbage crap days because I do. Um, but you also have to remember that when I'm having one of those days, I don't grab my camera and put it on YouTube. So you are seeing a lot of a highlight reel, even though I do try to keep it really real on here. Um, you do see me being charismatic and all of that stuff. And it's not like I'm like that 100% of the time. I am a regular person. I don't go to therapy or use antidepressants. The only vitamin I take um, is a multivitamin. Um, but I have been to therapy before and I think it's a great option. Um, I've never been on antidepressants, but I believe they absolutely have their place. And if I ever needed one, I wouldn't you know, feel weird about going on one. Okay, these next questions are really fun. What is your favorite actor and actress? Um, I stick with the classics here. Meryl Streep is probably my all-time favorite actress. If she is in a thing, I watch the thing. Actor, right now I'm super into the Levies. Dan Levy and his father, Eugene. Um, they are so funny and especially Dan. So clever, amazing writer, amazing actor. Obsessed with them right now. Who would you cast to play you in a movie? Um, I would say... Probably, okay, A.D. Bryant from Saturday Night Live. She's so funny, I love her. I think her comedic timing is good. And she's also just like a little bit weird, you know? Cause like, let's be honest, um, I'm a little weird. So I think she's, I think she would nail it, totally. All right, next question, what is your favorite movie? I will absolutely love if anybody knows this movie. Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, the 1954 or 59, one of those classics. 
It's a horribly misogynistic tale of kidnapping women and making them into your wives, but it is the best singing and dancing, the best song and dance musical. I will even go so far as to leave a link to the barn raising scene in the, in the uh, description down below so that you can be blessed with the amazing dance moves of the Pontipi brothers. Um, yeah, that's my favorite movie. I love this question. Which famous people would you love to invite to dinner to pick their brain on your burning questions? I immediately thought the British royal family. I would literally take any of them, any of them who wanted to come, if I could actually get answers to my burning questions. Because I have a lot. All right, if you were stuck in traffic in your car, what would you be singing? Show tunes, probably. I'm a show tunes girl all the way. I love some Andrew Lloyd Webber. I love me some like general movie musicals. All all the things musicals. I am I'm the theater girl. Next question, what other YouTubers do you watch? All right, when it comes to like the type of content I make, lifestyle and family, Emily Norris a thousand percent. I started following her when she had like less than 20,000 subscribers and now she is pushing a million. And oh my god, I just absolutely loved her. She seemed so normal and her family seemed so like sweet but regular, you know? She was like the first YouTuber I really related to and thought like, you're just like a regular person and it's kind of like we're friends because I watch you all the time. That's the first connection I really made. So when someone makes a connection with me like that, I'm always like, oh, this is amazing. I'm someone's Emily Norris. As far as other YouTubers go, when it comes to food, I love the Preppy Kitchen. That's a great channel. I also really love a YouTuber called Abby Sharp. She's a dietitian and she reviews like celebrities and other YouTubers like what I eat in a day and it's very, it's very interesting. So I like her too. All right, you guys, the very last question. Would you rather have no cleaning for a week, as in a service will be provided, even deep cleaning the baseboards and blinds and everything, or have a personal chef to cook all your dream meals for the family and wash the dishes for a week? I would choose the cleaning. I would much rather cook than clean. <laughs> Especially like the baseboards and everything like that. Honestly, I should probably get someone in here to do all that if I'm not going to. I hate the deep, deep cleaning. It's like my least favorite ever. There's nothing less satisfying than just like cleaning your baseboards. Like what a lame thing to spend a whole day doing. I Yeah, I would choose the cleaning <laughs> all the way. All right, you guys, I loved all of your questions. So thoughtful and fun. I hope you learned something. And again, if you commented after I made this video and I didn't get to your question, we will be doing this again. Or just commented on another video. I, I try to answer all the comments, so, you know. Let me know if any of my answers surprised you. And of course, come on back for more and I'll see you guys in my next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.